You're about to meet a man who's opened a new restaurant in Charlotte who's done a lot of cooking for a lot of big names, from Jimmy Buffett to Shania Twain. That don't impress me much. Well, there is one thing that impresses singer Shania Twain, food prepared by a quiet Charlotte chef. Shania Twain actually uh, delayed her concert for 10 minutes to come back for seconds on dinner one night. That was pretty neat. They were looking all over for her, couldn't find her, and she was hiding in the corner in the dining room. That's Dan Stallman. While working at the old Blockbuster Pavilion, Dan delighted lots of stars. Jimmy Buffett asked Dan to travel with him and cook, so he did. Elton John loved his food, so did Bonnie Raitt. Bonnie Raitt was probably my favorite instance where I did uh, country ham and cream cheese stuff, fried green tomatoes for her. Just, I love her music, and uh, I thought that would be something that she would really dig, and she did. Well, these days, we can all really dig the food that Dan and his crew are cooking up. Original creations such as grilled shrimp covered with a spiced rum and molasses barbecue sauce and served with an unusual coconut rice cake. The rice cake is excellent. That's an unusual side dish. Check out this unusual appetizer, a giant sweet chili that's grilled, then stuffed with a blend of full cheeses. It's batter fried, and the final dish has covered the roasted garlic cream. No wonder Shania Twain went to eat out of scene. Don't impress me much. Well, Dan Stallman's food is now impressing Charlotteans at a little place with a great view called Nectar Inspired Cuisine, where you find a menu inspired by Dan's unusual background. The menu here is basically a combination of flavors and influences that I've encountered uh, through my travels around the world. Dan's parents were missionaries. He spent much of his childhood in a primitive area of New Guinea. This is Dan at age nine, posing with a tribal chief. There were a lot of feasts called moo-moos. In fact, a meal prepared by a woman in the village is where Dan got the idea for those rice cakes that he serves with shrimp and other dishes here. So she made this coconut rice, and I was probably nine years old, and I still, nine or 10, and I, I still remember that to this day, and the flavor that it had, and, and how it, unique it was and, and how fascinating it was that, wow, you could do something different with rice. The uh, coconut rice cakes are absolutely incredible. I get craving them. They're made with rice and coconut milk, formed into cakes, cooked with Japanese breadcrumbs and fried. I'm hooked. I absolutely love it. That's another one of the inspired owners of nectar-inspired cuisine, Angela Petrie. She calls herself a businesswoman who loves to eat and mingle. What inspires her is creating a relaxed atmosphere. We offer fine dining in a warm and comfortable environment without all of the stuffings of fine dining and without the pricing of fine dining. Since we found the place, which was early on when it opened, we've been here no less than once a week. The regulars here rave out pork tenderloin with another of Dan's unusual creations, a chili lime glaze. Dan's also fussy about his spring rolls. That's why they're rolled by hand every day, loaded with veggies that fresh cut, not frozen, plus chicken and shrimp. Another favorite here, grilled medallions of filet mignon, covered with an original cream sauce that Dan makes using brandy and green peppercorn. The side dish, garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. Wonderful, it's definitely comfort food. <laughs> Very peppery, but wonderful comfort food. The mashed potatoes are perfect. Then consider this original dessert called Ridiculously Chocolate Cheesecake. I made it for my sister and my nieces who are all certified chocoholics. Watch it made. These chunks are a blend of imported Calibo chocolate with cream and butter. Pack it in pretty good. Dan also adds white chocolate chunks. Then a rich batter that also has milk chocolate in it. You can see the final product is creamy, cheesy, and chocolatey. The cheesecake, oh, it was wonderful. That's what Dan Stallman and Angela Petrie love to hear. Now, Dan is pretty shy about his talent, but whether it's pop stars or plain folks, when people love your food, he admits, there's only one way you can feel about it. Right. Kind of, kind of proud. <laughs> Nectar-inspired cuisine is located on Woodlawn, just across from Park Road Shopping Center. Tuesday through Friday, lunch starts at 11.30. Dinner begins at 5. And they're open till 11 on Friday and Saturday nights. Phone 704-519-4174.